How to create a bootable USB Windows OS using Mac OS X. I'm having trouble here because of my PC got infected today and I've tried everything to get it back to normal, but the only option left for me now is to do a clean install. Now, what happens is that I have MacBook Pro with 8GB USB. I've downloaded Windows 7 from my college website, with license not pirated, and wanted to make a bootable USB, so I can format my PC to get it working again. My question is how to create a bootable USB to install Windows on my Mac OS X without using disk utilities. OK. Here are some instructions from Gizmodo that will put the ISO onto the flash drive with a Mac. They won't make it bootable though, read on. Open a terminal under Utilities, run Discutal list and determine the device node assigned to your flash media, e.g. slash dev slash disk 2, run Discutal unmount disk slash dev slash disk and replace n with the disk number from the last command. In the previous example, n would be 2. Execute sudo dd if equal slash path slash to slash downloaded dot iso of equal slash dev slash disk and bs equals 1m. Replace slash path slash to slash downloaded dot iso with the path where the image file is located. For example, slash windows 7 dot iso run discutal eject slash dev slash disk and, and remove your flash media when the command completes. This can take a few hours on slower drives. Now, after you read all that, on the Gizmodo page it says that if you want to make it bootable you should use a utility called Live USB Helper they link to, which isn't there anymore, and use a Mac mounting tool, which isn't there either, to force the ISO to mount on the Mac so you can copy the files over. So, that article may prove useful, but probably not. I can find other copies of Live USB Helper out there, but they are all Windows executables. One method that will work is to swap the hard drive out of the PC and into the Mac. Put your Windows 7 installation disk into the Mac optical drive and install Windows 7 on that drive. Once it is up and running, don't worry about drivers yet, follow these steps. Run command prompt as administrator, type to command prompt. Percent winder percent backslash system 32 backslash sysprep backslash sysprep.exe and hit enter. In sysprep dialog that opens, choose a system cleanup action as e enter system out of box experience. Ub a select generalize and select shutdown options e as shutdown. Click go OK. Sysprep generalizes now your Windows 7 setup and shuts down your computer. Do not run any other programs during this phase. Remove the drive from your Mac. Put it back into the PC. Boot the PC from sysprep generalized hard disk. You will notice Windows booting as if it was the first boot after installation, installing default and updating registry. One or two reboots are needed, depending on your system specifications. When Windows finally boots up, you will need to enter all information as if this really was a new, fresh installation. All that is from here, but it applies in this situation a well, since you would be moving a Windows 7 installation from one computer to another. Considering that trying to make a Windows bootable USB stick with a Mac requires tools that either don't exist anymore or are not being developed anymore, this second method will most likely prove more dependable. Assuming you have burnt your Windows CD into a ISO file with the tools like this URL 1. Jump into a folder here, this URL 2. Get the latest version of zip archive with the keyword Mac in the file name 3. Download and open it up on your Mac OS X desktop 4. On unit button interface, choose disk image ISO and then select the Windows ISO file on your local hard drive. 5. Select the right USB drive and then click OK to start writing ISO data onto your USB drive. Once done, you're ready to boot your computer with this bootable USB drive, like a DVD installation disk. You could also use VirtualBox on your Mac and install Windows quickly, then use Windows to create the media for the PC. 
you just need to allow Windows to read from the USB port. Microsoft published free-to-use Windows virtual machines for Internet Explorer testing purposes, but you can also use them to create a bootable USB stick. To allow Windows to read from the USB port you'll need to install the VirtualBox extension pack. Then you can enable the USB 2.0 ASI controller in the virtual machine settings ports USB. Then when you insert the USB stick, it will probably first be detected by OS X, and since only one OS at a time can atches the port, you should eject it in OS X, then it should automatically show up in Windows. If it's not, try to click the USB cable connection icon at the right bottom in the virtual machine. The USB port should be listed there, and when you click it it should be mounted. Then you can use a tool such as Rufus to create a bootable USB stick. There is another method that I found myself that is also useful for someone else too I hope. If you have Windows installed on your Mac like in Parallel or VMware, you can download those software like Windows 7 USB DVD download tool, which is from Microsoft website. This will make a bootable for you and you can use it with your PC. And there are plenty to choose out there, but you still need Windows. As none of the answers I found on the internet worked for me, here are the steps that I ended up following. First of all, brief description of my setup. I want to install Windows 7, 32-bit, on a PC, not on a Mac, using a USB removable media, 8GB. I have an ISO image of the installation DVD. I want to prepare the USB media on my Mac, OS X 10.10 Yosemite. My MacBook Pro only has USB 3.0 ports. What I tried. The typical suggestion of using Diatil to convert ISO to util UIMG and then using DD to copy it to the USB. While I did not encounter any errors, the resulting USB media was not bootable. Using Unit Bootin to create the media, supplying Windows installer ISO as custom ISO. While I did not encounter any errors and the resulting USB media seemed to be bootable, it just crashed during boot, started to boot then halted the system, no error, dot. Using Windows inside VirtualBox to write to the USB stick did not work either, as VirtualBox does not support USB 3.0 yet, I even updated by VirtualBox to 5.0.0 RC1 but still no luck. Maybe newer versions will work. Solution. As none of the above worked, I ended up first installing Ubuntu and then used that Ubuntu installation, it is Grub2, to create a bootable USB stick. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.